What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. We've got a couple knives in here coming from Shield Shield Arms. Check his channel out. Not too shabby. Um, let's get these out. And that is it. Alright. These are tenable and I cannot remember who. These are more of a this box is a little wonky. This is a budget who is it? It's coming from another company. Like this is their budget line. I cannot remember what they are. I'll have it in the final review. Because I cannot remember. For some reason I want to say concept, but I don't think it is. But I could be wrong. This is the Tenable Nest Street. Keramic Makers, the designer size. Satin 14C28 in. Green Micarta. Let's check it all out. Oh. And we have a cleaning cloth. It almost reminds me of Civivi now with the color. Call me crazy. Um, what do we got here also? That's broke. Um, general information. Yada, yada, yada. Yep, 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 yep. All the usual. And this is, what was it called again? The Nest Street. The Nest Street. All right, let's check out the Nest Street. Ooh, that's not shabby. It almost even looks like the freaking Kaiser emblem a little bit. Am I crazy? Hold on. Hold on. What we got? <laughs> it kind of does. I don't think it's Kaiser's, obviously. Or am I wrong? I Man, I don't know. I'm tripping. I'm tripping out now. I'll have to find that out later. Okay, sorry. Look at my mic real quick. Um, this opens well. Lockup is not bad. A little loosey goosey. But that is the action on this thing is freaking legit though. Very smooth. And this is a budget friendly knife, so it's not bad. It's definitely not bad for a budget friendly knife. Good lord. You got some G10 or Micarta right here. Some green Micarta. No, was it green Micarta? Did it say the color on there? Yeah, green Micarta. I don't know exactly if it's green or like a tannish green or something. I don't know. Solid. Not solid. It's a thick blade though, up top. Obviously, it's cut, it comes down to a point, obviously. But up top, it is pretty thick. No jimping. Oh. It's all right, though. The button lock is works very well, though. Flush pretty much with the micarta, not bad. When it does come out though, it definitely comes out a like hairball, but it's very, it's bigger though, it's like a little bit bigger, and it works very well. Like it's very easily, easy to maneuver and operate. That's not bad though. I like that. Good lord, I just smudged the crap up out of that thing, but it's not bad. I like that. That's one to check out. Nest Street. Check out the Nest Street. Let's get that out of the way. The trash. Not trash, but box. It's not trash because i got to keep the box. So the same stuff in there. We'll go back into that. Paperwork, cleaning cloth, all the good stuff. And this was called what again? Okay. Oh, Prome okay, so this is Prometheus. Because I just dealt with another knife that was called Prometheus. I can't remember what it was. Concept, I think. Um... Doc for the designer, stonewashed 14C, 28 in, green micarta as well. Not quite the green, but not shabby either. Got a rear flipper for this one. Oh, oh, see, okay, see, <laughs> this has got to be concept because I swear that is the same blade shape. So call me crazy, but I swear that's like the same blade of the Prometheus. It's like a, okay, okay, this is from concept. It is because I swear. This is the same blade handle shape too. Um, it's all coming back to me. It's all coming back. I ain't crazy. Completely. But I think that's okay. I think this is Concepts budget line. Like I said, I'll have it in the final reviews for these. But I'm pretty sure it is. Those are nice though. I do like the button lock a little bit better. I wish there's not a lot of real estate right there to get your finger there, your thumb. Because you really have to push it in a little bit to get it to go. So I think they should have probably either gave a little more space to get your thumb there. Or 
a little bit of jimping, a little texturing. I think that's what they should have done. But it's not a big issue, though. I like it, though. Well, I wish they had a little bit of jimping right there, but that's all right. I don't think the premium version had it either. But I like the blade shape, though. That's what I like. What was this again? Blade steel, 14C28N. So I like that. This is nice. I like the Micarta. Micarta's not bad. I like the pocket clip. The pocket clip is quite large. Here, let's... Definitely is a large pocket clip for it. It's not deep carry quite. Obviously, you have that much sticking out. Got a nice little lime green pivot collar right there on both sides. That's cool. I like this thing. Um, I wish... I just wish that liner lock worked just a hairball better it is skeletonized on the inside was this one yes they are both skeletonized on the inside as you can kind of see right there both of them here there you go so they're not bad size wise they're the nest streets a little bit bigger but i think i like this one right here the prometheus and I swear that they have a premium version of this too. But it's concept. So that's cool that they made a budget friendly version for people. Because it is a nice knife. I do like it. It's a nice little black um, column back spaces right there. Same, you got silver right there. Pocket clip was obviously a lot nicer on this one. Obviously, I think it's titanium. I'll have that information for you later. This is like a little steel one, I think. I'm really curious about these prices on these, though. This button lock works phenomenal, though. Flicking it also, the thumb studs work great. I like the thumb studs on this. I wish... This so this flicks open pretty well. But that thumb, those thumb studs, they, they just work a little better. And I'm not saying it's a bad knife or anything like that. They just work a little better. But that, that's kind of cool. I'm pretty excited about checking these out, final review stuff. Um, yeah, that's all I've got, though. But if you have any comments or questions or anything like that, leave it down in the comment section. I'll try to make sure I have the name of the parent company of these two. I think it's Concept because this thing right here kind of led me to that. I'll have that information for you for sure in that final review for these. But, um, yeah, that's all i got. If you guys liked the video, leave a thumbs up. Thanks.